Folks, I want to talk to you about tuning a spinner bait, and it's something that I tune all my baits. I don't care if it's putting a, a grub on a jig head, if it's a crank bait, a jerk bait, everything gets tuned. And I want it running straight and I want it running true because that's how you're going to get the best action out of it. But when you're working with a spinner bait, something that you need to keep in mind, there's, there's a couple adjustments that you need to do. If you throw this bait out, guys, and it's trying to walk this direction here, it's trying to go off to the left, it's turning like so. What you do, everything you have to think about is done opposite. So if I'm going to the left, the first thing I have to do is come in here. If it's going rolling to the left, I got to come in here and force this over to the right. Just little small adjustment right there. Now, if I throw it out and it's running straight, great, we've made the fix. But a lot of times when you're fishing, especially if you're fishing for bass and pike and they get to jumping around, you may bring your spinner bait in and it looks something like this. It's all stretched out, all right? Now what you have to do, the first thing you have to do is get the collapse, this collapse this down right here. So just push it down straight over the top of the hook in line with the hook. And a lot of people think that a spinner bait will always be tuned if the top wire is right in line with the hook. Well, if the spinner bait's built correctly, that may be true, but a lot of times it's gonna be off. So the first thing we have to do is collapse this wire back down to get our shape, just like so. Now what we'll do, we throw it out. Once again, if it's rolling this direction here, all I gotta do is just come in and tweak this back over and make small adjustments with it. If you get crazy with it, you're gonna throw it out next thing you know it's gonna be doing loops on you. So make a little adjustments, but think everything is opposite. If the bait's torquing over this way, I need to bring it back this way. It's always in opposite motion. Now there's some spinner baits that you'll buy out there that no matter what you do, they don't run straight. And what that has to do with is the size of the blades that are on it. A spinner bait can be overpowered by the blades. What I'm talking about is if I have this bait here, guys, that's a one ounce head. I can put a big old willow leaf here and I can put another one right here and it's gonna be able to handle it. What you have to think about is the head of that spinner bait is like a keel. These spinner baits, as they turn, they're creating inertia. Just like when you hit the throttle in your car or your truck and it rocks over, the blades are creating torque. If those blades are heavy and big and throwing the torque this direction, that spinner bait's always gonna swing like this. Those blades are out torquing the weight of that head. So keep that in mind. If you've got a blade or spinner bait that's just not working, the odds are you've got too big of a blade on there. Now the same thing can happen. Remember how I opened this up like this? If you try to throw like this, what you've done is you've increased the leverage of this point up here. By being down like this, the leverage is reduced. But when it's up high like this, this spinner bait, if I threw it out like this, even though that that's a one ounce head and these are medium sized blades, it's gonna wanna torque over because I've increased the leverage point of that. I've, it's up high. So I'll always make sure it's collapsed down and always make sure that your blades don't overpower the weight of your head. The bigger the head, the bigger the blades you can run.